I was a little apprehensive going into this game. The previous entry in the series concerning the events at Kisilova had been entertaining enough, but I'd recently played another game about Elizabeth Bathory and found it to be one of the worst hidden object games I'd ever encountered. Check out the videos if you want to be horrified by a set of terrible design decisions. So playing another game based on the same subject matter had me a little on edge. Luckily, there was no reason to fear, as the game had no similarities to that other title, beyond a common villain, of course. And uh, an evil gypsy? You know, getting ahead of myself. Let's have the hidden object criteria. The game's screens are unusually well drawn and designed. The game is set in a small Hungarian village where a gypsy herbalist is hired to track down the missing daughter of a noble. The investigation takes the player through a worn down mansion, an ancient abbey, and a well appointed castle. Each location is packed with hidden object scenes, every one of them drawn to be plausibly cluttered desks, chests, and cupboards within those locations. The screens are challenging, yet fairly built, with almost no cheating to speak of. Truly an excellent job by the developers. It's mostly 12-1 scenes here, although the game does go off in some interesting directions in screen design to make up for a lack of integration. In addition to list-based scenes, there are silhouette and theme screens. The silhouettes are fascinating in that the developers often use shapes that represent a type of item rather than the actual shape that I'm supposed to click on. For example, a picture of a mosquito might refer to a bug contained in a ball of amber rather than an insect sitting on the screen. The theme puzzles ask the player to click on four different things related to an idea, such as night, history, music. These were certainly an interesting challenge, even if they proved considerably more frustrating than a traditional hidden object puzzle would have been. This is a huge game, dozens of locations, around five hours of gameplay, and it's absolutely loaded with puzzles, both drawn from the standard assortment of logic puzzles, and many examples of the game's signature puzzle, pictures that have to be unscrambled by swapping slices of image around until the figure is revealed. Each one is beautifully drawn and a solid challenge. The game's only real problem comes in an attempt by the developer to mix up the hidden object scenes by requiring the player to occasionally unlock or complete one of the items by using something from their inventory. That's not such a strange idea, I've seen it a few times in other games. The problem here is that it's possible for players to start the hidden object puzzle before they've picked up the item they need to complete it. This will lead to a situation where the player is stuck looking for one last item with no idea how to find it until they finally break down, hit the hint button, and get told they're actually supposed to leave the hidden object scene and go somewhere else. How hard would it have been to not unlock the hidden object scenes until players had the item they were going to need? how difficult the beyond items are to find. I got to the end of the game missing like 12 of the tarot cards I was supposed to track down. It turns out, you see, sometimes there's more than one card per scene, which the game does not warn you about. I'd say yes. It's an extra hour of solid content and new puzzles set in entirely original locations, and it also serves to give the game a more traditional horror story ending, as compared to the main title's more historically accurate closing. This is another very good game in the Vampire Legends series. Creepy, bloody, full of interesting plot twists and loathsome villains. A few minor design mistakes shouldn't sour people on what is otherwise a truly special horror hidden object game. This review is based on a copy of the game purchased with my own money. If you'd like to see the playthrough that led to this review, just click on the rectangle that allows you to do that. Or, if you're morbidly curious, you can click on the other rectangle, which will take you to the other Elizabeth Bathory game. If so, I wish you luck. You can find other hidden object reviews elsewhere on this playlist. Au revoir.